Welcome to this comprehensive video tutorial of Smarty Symbols. Today we're going to learn how to explore each one of the sections of our website. So let's go ahead and get started. The first section that you will gain access as soon as you become a member is the Download Hub. The Download Hub is designed so that you can search, access, and download any of the 23 thousand Smarty Symbols images. This section is designed for individuals that want to access and download and create materials outside of our portal. So for example, the images you see here are the images that we have recently uploaded. We're always uploading new images so every time you log in you have a chance to see new and recent uploaded images. So for example, I'm going to access this image here of twerk. There are several options here. You can download the image color or black and white. So I'm going to just download a PNG file. We're going to access that image now and you see that every time you download, you're going to access this high quality image that you can import into programs like Keynote or PowerPoint so that you can create your own material. So for example, here I will open, for example, this is Keynote because I'm using a Mac. I'm going to go ahead and get that image here from my files. This is my latest image and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that image into Keynote. Keynote is the PowerPoint version of a Mac. You can use our website also on a Windows computer. And if one thing that you will notice, I'm going to send this image to the back, is that these are transparent images. So as you're creating any material on a third party program like PowerPoint or even Word, you'll be able to attach any background, combine images to create the material of your dreams. One thing that you also see is that you can easily find images by categories. So we can access images here, all of the action word images by accessing this menu here on the right side. One of everybody's favorite features, the ability that we have offered, that we have different characters. All of the action words actually offer character choices so that you don't have to be tied up to only using one character. If you have a student that might benefit from a male African-American character, you can download this. And I also want to take advantage here and show you that you can download the JPEG JPEG is great for importing images into third-party programs. Some people want to use BoardMaker, for example. They can download this image with a white background and import it into a third-party program like BoardMaker. Another option is to download the black and white version of that same image. Let me show you what it looks like. So there you are. If you want to save on the color printer, which is, you know, educators don't always have access to color printers, you can use grayscale. Now we have recently also start offering outline images. And you will see here the difference of the outline images. So this is an image to represent future. I'm going to download here the PNG file, which gives me the clear background. And this is great for people do some coloring activity. So you will see here that these outline images that we offer allow students to color the images so they don't have any color here and once you print that image in large size you will see that it's completely transparent. So the background will end up being whatever color the student colored. One other thing that I want to share with you guys is the ability to search images here by whole word or containing that word. So for example, if I type the word eat here, it will show me every image that has the combination of those three letters, E-A-T, which is great for activities like rhyming or articulation. So for example, beat, it has those three letters, E-A-T, and you show, you will access a really great variety of images. Now if you're looking specifically for the word or that meaning of the word eat, you type whole word and we're only going to display images that are either labeled eat or that have been tagged as related semantically to the word 
eat. So for example, here, even though two, it doesn't have the three letters eat, it's relating semantically to the concept of eating. Taste, the same thing. Well, another very cool thing that we offer here on the Download Hub is the ability to search by sounds. You will see here that this is great for phonetic awareness, rhyming, articulation, and for example, here we're going to search all the words that have the sound BL. Let's take a look at what, what we end up getting. We have a total of 221 images with that consonant cluster BL. This is a general overview of the Download Hub. Another section that I want to explore now is the Printing Center. Here at the Printed Center is where you can easily create materials without having to download those images. This allows you to within minutes create activities for your class or visual support materials. So for example, we have here both from template, which you can see a variety of templates here. So for example, I'm going to create a flashcard. I'll select my template. I can either double click or click apply. And I have here my flashcard. I'm going to do a search for that same label eat and I'm going to just drag and drop these images onto my template. Now here's what you can do. You can also change the text once you after you have dragged the images you select them and you can make any modification to that cell. So for example, here the word breathe, I can just set a breathe in, I can just switch to breathe. I can also change the background here to a different color. And I can change the font to something of my desire. Some of them are uh, slightly different. So you can see here the change in font. Once I'm done creating my material, I have two options. I can save it or I can download that PDF. So first, let me download this PDF. So if I know, for example, that I will never reuse this, I just want a quick um, material, I don't have to save anything. In less than five minutes, it literally took me probably one minute to create this and download. And now I can print this material just as you see it. Well, I'd say that, for example, later I want to make sure that I will access this material later. I can go ahead and save it. I'm going to just label this um, demo. And I can actually select a category. So this will appear every time I search for pre-K articulation activities. And I also have the ability of making this file available to other users. If you want to allow other users to see your work, if you want to share with other users, you can just hit save. If you don't want to, if you want to have that file as private, just make sure you don't select that and only you will see that file. So I have saved now that flashcard and if I go here to the activity library, you will see that the file that I have just created demo is right here. You can download it, uh, download it again or delete it at any time. You can also access the activity library, the work of every other user of Smarty Symbols. And this is the library that contains work from other users that they created something. So for example, morning routine to school. And you can just download this PDF. If you like it and you want to just make a slight modification. So for example, here, this is the file that that user created that you can now just download it and use it. But let's say you want to make this in Spanish. We can click edit activity and select here. I'm going to make a modification to change that text. Instead of getting the car, entrar en el carro. Okay. And now that activity is in I modified, I can modify everything in Spanish once I download this PDF. Now that activity modifies on my end and the user will also have a copy on her end with her own edit 
edits. Now let's explore another section, which is our custom section, because we have something special there, which is the ability to add pages. So here I can modify, for example, instead of three rows, I'm going to just put two rows so that I can have a slightly bigger area. And I'm going to search by sound here, all the initial BL words. And I'm just going to drag and drop these images there. Black belt, black cat, um, blah, blame. And now I can edit this so I can move the text up or down. I can change the background individually here or as a whole over here. So let me do this and then I'm going to increase the thickness. I can change the text of the title here, BL words, oops. And this is page one. So now I can go here to page two. I can make it even thicker and I can continue to drag and drop other words for my BL target. Blanket, blast, bleach, blaze. And I'm gonna go actually switch them all to yellow, uh, yellow color of the border. And then here, I can make this background also a different color, as well as the font. You can also switch the font style. And now you have these two page document. Once you go ahead and you can either save or download the PDF directly. You also have the ability of adding your own text separately. So for example, here, BL words. And I can make this bigger by sliding this. And I can just put it there. Or if I want to create my own target word, I can say blocks. And I can drag and drop over there, make it smaller. And now I have the word blocks there. So it really gives you a lot of freedom on what to do with the activity. Once you click download, then that image will be downloaded. This work will be downloaded as a PDF for you to use any way you want. So once we access that work, here it is. So we have the two pages, highly editable work for you. So this was it, a general overview of the Smarty Symbols website.